We are just one day away from Election Day, and officials have been encouraging voters to have a plan for how they'll cast their ballots this year. Joining us now is David Thornburg, the president and CEO of the Committee of 70, to help answer any potential last minute questions. Good morning, David. Good morning. Glad to be with you. So, David, if you still haven't returned your mail in ballot, what are the options right now? Well, first option is to avoid is putting it in the mail. It's too late for the post office. So most counties have drop boxes or satellite election offices in Pennsylvania, and that's where you should head between now and we recommend 8 o'clock tomorrow night. So can you turn in a completed mail-in ballot or absentee ballot to the polling location? You can, but only if you turn it in and then decide to vote uh, on the machines. But we recommend against that because that will kind of gum up the works and make your neighbors a little impatient uh, behind you. So our recommendation is if you have a mail ballot now, Dropbox, satellite election office, just get it over and done with. So, David, though, if you did, we'll go back to that question. If you requested a ballot by mail, still have it in your possession, but decide you want to actually go into the booth and vote, uh, what, what, what's the protocol here? What happens? Well, you can do that. You just hand, have to hand it over to the election board, and then you're going to have to sign an affidavit that says, I decided to vote on the machine rather than uh, voting by mail, and then they'll destroy your uh, mail ballot. But again, we think that kind of gums up the works, mm -hmm. takes a little too much time. There are going to be lines tomorrow. So just, you know, think about it and be considerate of, of your neighbors. For someone that hasn't voted in a while, um, how can they find out about their uh, polling place locations? Well, the easiest way for anyone in Pennsylvania is votespa.com. You can look up, uh, double check your registration. You can find your uh, uh, polling location. Most of them, maybe 85, 90% of them, will be back to what people were used to uh, this time last year, so mm -hmm. fall of 19. A lot of them changed this spring, but they'll be back to sort of your normal polling places this time around. With the pandemic in place right now, what health precautions should people expect when they end up showing up at the polls if they're voting in person? Well, the usual stuff, mask, social distance, hand sanitizer, those supplies will be uh, available at, at polling locations, but we strongly recommend folks to do what we're getting used to and just bring them yourselves and that'll keep you safe and secure. And again, remind people when the polls open and close tomorrow in Pennsylvania. Polls open 7 a.m., close 8 p.m. Uh, if you want to, try to avoid peak times, which are maybe 7 to 9.30 mm -hmm. or 6 till closing. So uh, go off peak. A lot of people have already voted, but what do you anticipate of uh, turnout in person tomorrow? Well, uh, it'll be substantial. I think overall turnout will be, as, as some folks have said, a 100-year flood of voters. Wow. It's going to be really strong turnout. But because maybe 40% of people have already voted by mail, that may lessen the crowds uh, at the polling locations tomorrow. Uh, so uh, might be a little, a little shorter lines than, than we would have had otherwise. David Thornburg, uh, President and CEO of the Committee of 70, thanks for joining us this morning, sir. My pleasure. Appreciate it.